address that and have you, you know, fix that maybe going forward. Yeah, who said that? Leach, the coach. Oh, uh, yeah, I mean, we had some, a big theme was just communication and honestly just kind of get on a different page with the quarterback. And sometimes we miss signal and uh, you know, I'm, I myself messed up one. And that's just something we got to be, you know, it's a small thing. It's just uh, that we inflicted on ourselves, you know. That just kind of sucks looking back at it, but, you know, 24 hour old, look at it, move on, and, you know, obviously make those changes for this week. Is that something you can pretty easily fix? Uh, yeah, that's, that's obviously, that's a really easy fix. I mean, that's, that's not, you know, just getting locked up and, you know, bad route. It's just, just, you know, it's communication. What do you think made that crop up in this game when it hadn't really been an issue for a few weeks? I don't know. Honestly, just kind of a couple things just compounded on itself. That's just sometimes how, you know, it goes. Sometimes how the ball bounces, and uh, it's kind of happened. Jet Johnson said the team kind of let the logo, the Alabama logo, get to you guys a little bit. Did you feel that way at all? I mean, obviously, how we played and the results kind of show that. But like, I honestly didn't feel like that. I thought we had a really good week preparing. I thought our mindset was right. But we, when we came out, we didn't execute. We didn't, you know, play at our level. Uh, I'm sure that probably had a little bit of effect on it. But you know, I'm not sure about it. Yeah. As one of the veterans, what's kind of been your message to the guys to get them locked in this week for a road game? Honestly, like the big thing is 24 hour rule. You know, after A&M, you know, enjoy the win, great win, but you know, 24 hours is over with on Alabama. Now, Bama, you know, have a bad loss, 24 hours, move on. You know, this is a new week. You know, we go, to, go to Vandy, chance to redeem ourselves, handle our business, you know, kind of get back on track. That's all it is. You come out like today's is a super important day. Everybody's going to come out, you know, good juice, good energy at practice, and, you know, kind of start the week right. Leach what was have you talking seen about from the Vanderbilt offense, and what do you think the biggest challenge they present is? Vanderbilt offense? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, the Vanderbilt defense. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, uh, they play well. I mean, what I've seen so far, they, they've been growing throughout the season. I wish it's yeah, it's a good time, good team. Uh, they played really well against South Carolina last week. You know, to you nail know, it at the end. They play sound. They play physical. You know, they play their roles pretty well. Uh, they definitely give us a challenge, and we're at the you know, execute on our part for sure. Leach talked about uh, sometimes this team can have a tendency to try to do too much and try to press. Do you, do you see that? And how thin of a how tough is that to walk that line? Because you you want to make a play, but you got to realize you can't score 21 points on one play and and just try to play within yourself. Like I said, I think it's a, it's a fine line you got to walk because, you know, uh, like a quote is, you want to be playing, you know, one step from out of control. But you say, obviously, you got to be, like, right there in that step in control. And, I mean, you just got to push yourself to your maximum limit. But you got to know that, yeah, like you said, you can't score 21 points on one play. You know, try to do somebody else's job, and then, you know, somebody's in the next gap. Or now, you know, somebody's, you know, running a different route for the next guy or just kind of free balling. And, like you said, you just got to kind of, you know, be, um, you know, trust what we do out here every day at practice and just kind of implement that. Can you talk about how this season's developed with the, the chemistry between not just yourself, but all the receivers and Will, and for that matter, the offensive line and everything, how this offense is just getting so comfortable with each other? Definitely. Uh, I think you see we've had a lot of reps together, a lot more games, the time together. And I can see, uh, you know, obviously a lot of progress going from last year. You know, watching our tape against some of these teams from last year, this year, you know, it's a huge difference. It's exponential. And uh, I think it's just, you know, being around each other, more reps and all that, and just kind of a closer bond and just, Oh, that's adding up. Speaking of a huge difference, I mean, when you came in here, you know, you had a had one receiver group, and now as a veteran, it's a, just a totally different receiver group. All sorts of abilities. Do you ever look around and think, you know, where do all these guys come from? We got somebody who can do a little bit of everything. Yeah, I think you know, coaches and everybody's done a great job getting guys here. A lot of types of different, you know, skills and different traits, and uh, really complement each other well. You were a guy who was very close to Will Rogers. You know, he didn't have his best game last week as his friend, receiver, and roommate. How do you kind of maybe pick him up a little bit? Uh, shake back. I mean, the whole team's got your back. We're all believing in you, riding with you. You know, we're going to be with you this week. We're going to go to Vandy, you know, try to do our best, obviously, handle business. And uh, you just got to be with them. You got to support them. I mean, there's, there's already enough noise on Twitter and everything else. You got to try to block it out and just be guys supporting them.